This is how you set up for the yo-yo intermittent recovery test too. You would have three sets of cones and be creating three lines, line A, line B, line B, and line C. Between line A and line B, there's a five meter distance. Between line B and line C, there's a 20 meter distance. That's your running zone. And then the five meters is your recovery zone. The Yoyo RT2 is composed of three sets of lines. Line A is the back end of the active recovery zone. As we move forward, we have line B. Line B serves as a spot for participants to start their run for each interval. After spending 10 seconds of active recovery, participants must come back to this line to begin their run. As we move forward through the 40 mile distance, we have line C. After running 40 meters, participants will have to turn back from this line and go back to line B from where they will enter the active recovery zone once again. For the yo-yo intermittent recovery test 2, there are two main ways that a participant can get out. The first way would be if they fatigue and they decide to take themselves out of the test voluntarily. This may happen at any point during the test and is completely acceptable. The second way is if they fail to make two consecutive beeps in a row. So if they miss one beep but then make it to the line for the second beep, their count resets. Should they miss two beeps in a row, then they will be disqualified from the test and will be asked to exit the testing area. The test begins in five seconds. Eleven one. Eleven two. How to set up for the thirty fifty. I'm good, I'm good. How to set up for the 30-15 intermittent recovery test is you have a 40 meter testing zone that's comprised of two 20 meter sections divided by three sets of cones, uh, creating three lines, line A, line B, and line C. In between each and every line, there's a three meter recovery zone. And uh, if you come with me, I'll show you how it looks like. Excellent, so you can follow me as we go through the 30-15 intermittent recovery test. As was mentioned earlier, we have three lines, line A, line B, and line C. The test starts at line A, followed by three different lines, and on the e either side of the lines, there are three meter recovery zones. When we're running, we need to be within the safety zone when we hear the beep. If we are outside the safety zone consecutively two times, that is when we will be eliminated from the test. This test is really important for this one, that we are listening to the announcer coming to the speaker as he will tell us which line we need to be running to after the intermittent test. And that's the 3015. There are two ways a participant may exit the 3015 IFT. Way number one is that the participant is fatigued and is unable to continue the test. Way number two is that the participant is unable to meet the line at the next beep. If a participant is unable to make two consecutive beeps, they will exit the test. If a participant does not make one line and then continues the test and makes the next line, the error will reset and will be able to continue the test. Running speed 10.
end of stage at running speed 10. Next start, line A. Running speed 10.5. The test begins in five seconds. <laughs> 